Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use Capable's calendar feature to track events and key dates in your Confluence system without needing any external resources or sites or subscriptions outside of Confluence. So for this tutorial, you could use either the Calendars for Confluence app or you can use the Capable for Confluence app, which includes that calendar feature. So let's hop over to Confluence and I'll show you how you can make use of this feature to organize your team's schedule. So in this example, I've got a marketing space in Confluence and we're tracking different campaigns here. And what I'd like to do is also have a list of events for our campaigns for our marketing team. So for this, you can go down to the space apps and you click either capable or the calendars option, depending on which product you've installed. So if we click capable and we go to calendar, you can see on the left here, we've got a list of calendars we've created. So we can create calendars in the space or we can create global calendars. So let's start by creating a calendar for our campaign. So if I click on the plus button here, and I'm creating this within the space. And we're going to call this the marketing schedule. We can select the default calendar view that we want. And I'd like month. We can select the base time zone, which will default to your current time zone. And now we can configure what events we'd like to show in the calendar. So we've got a few options here. We can use the direct event creation here, which lets us click to create events. And we can also include events from pages, which we're going to cover later on, which will be configured here. We can also select options like whether we'd like to show the users, the titles, whether we'd like to show all events. So without an overflow, and we can also select a color scheme here. And the last feature we can add are tags, which let you categorize your events. So this could be teams. These could be components of your product. And we'll get a little bit into that later on. So let, first of all, let's click create to create a calendar in the space. And as you can see, now we've got a calendar and we can actually click on a date to create an event. So I could say this is when the GTM is for one of our products. So let's call this the calendar go to market. And as you can see, we can set various things here. We can set priority, description. We can color code the event. So we could say this is going to be green. Give it a nice description. Select what time zone and whether it's all day or it's a specific time. In this case, I'm going to select all day. We can add more information here. We can select which users are actually part of the event. So the recipients. We can link to pages as well. I'm going to select our GTM launch page here. And finally, the tags, which we'll cover later. And as you can see, the event now shows up directly in the calendar here. And if we hover over it, we can see a summary of all that information here. And if we click on it, we can also see that information. We can edit the event. We can download the event to our local calendar as well. So if I want this to show up in my Outlook or my Microsoft Teams, I can easily click this button. And obviously we can edit that event here. Other features we can do, say we want to move this event to a different date, we can simply drag it from one date to another. So this makes it easy to reschedule our events to different dates. We can also drag the event from the left or the right to increase the duration of the event. So we could change that to a full week event there. And as you can see, we can really easily build up our schedule here. So as you can see, here's, here's a calendar I've populated with a few events so that we can see this kind of at scale. And you can see that in the month view, we can see all of our events and you can add nice emojis here to make this really clear. You could also view it in a week view a day view or a year view if you want to look at the big picture. And you can also see an agenda for what we're doing this week. 
So what about if we want to add labels to this event, or we want to tag these events so that we can easily filter and just show specific events at a time. So particularly useful if you're managing tens or hundreds of events in a month. So for this, what we want to do is if we go to the settings panel for the calendar and we click on tags, we're going to create a tag called go to market. And this tag is going to be for all of our GTM stuff. So if I go on here and I'm, I'm going to make this green and we also want one for conferences, let's say, and we'll make this red and I click save. Now you'll see that what we can do is when we open up an event and click edit, or when we create the event initially, we can go to the tags tab and we can click add tag. So for example, this is a conference. I'd like to label it as a conference. You can see the color at the top changes. And if I save that, you'll see now that event has been tagged as a conference. So we can easily filter and just show those events. So let's apply this to all of the other ones as well. So now that we've tagged those events, what we can now do is we can view a subset of these events by clicking on the filter button on the left here clicking add tag and if we select the gtm tag now you'll see only those events that have the tag gtm are going to be shown in the calendar and likewise we can do the same with the conference tag and we can just see any events that have been tagged as a conference so you can see like this filtering functionality makes it really easy to have something like a, a master calendar for example and then have different filters for the different teams or the different components or parts of your business to be able to simply filter down on these. But what if we'd like to include this in directly into a page itself? So to do this, we can do this with a macro. So if we jump to our campaigns page, what I'd like to do is embed a calendar on this page for all the upcoming marketing events we have to do. So for that, I can go onto the editor. I can add this, let's say to the bottom of the page. So for this, what we need to do is type slash calendar and then select the capable calendar option from the drop down. And what this is going to open is the macro configuration, which lets us configure the options here. What I'd like to do is select the marketing schedule calendar. And you'll see this now pulls in that data from the calendar we created. We can also enable event editing. So allow people to create and move around events from this calendar. We can select the view, the colors, and also the height of the macro if we want to make it bigger. So if we click save and we'll click update here. Now we don't actually require our users to jump onto the Capable Calendar app to view these events. They can actually see these directly in a conference page. And you don't lose any features with this. You can still click to create an event. You can still resize events and you can drag events around so you can move these events. So you can see this really opens up the functionality of capable calendars to allow you to embed it directly into your pages and your process so that your users can just use this directly. So that's not it. There's a more advanced feature I'd like to show you, which is the ability to read dates from pages themselves. We can actually add dates directly into the page, which will then be read by capable calendar and shown both in the macro and Later, I'll show you how to show it in the main calendars as well. So what you can do, you've got two options. You can either add the events in a table like this. So this is great for things like task tables where you've got a task, you've got who's going to do the task, and then you've got one or two dates here. So you could either have a date for the event, or you could also have a start and an end date. So we could do start end date here. And here we could put in how long each task is going to take. So nice and easy, nice and intuitive way of uh, setting these dates. So as follows, you can see this structure you can use, or you could simply just have the start date. 
You can also include the dates in bullet points or to be honest, anywhere on your page. So that including the nice sort of task macro. And you can see each of those events shows up nicely on the calendar with the correct start and end times. But what if we want to show this on the actual full blown calendar feature? So if we go back to our calendar, calendar, go onto the marketing schedule here and click on the settings. Earlier on, we showed this feature here, which lets you not only have the in calendar events, but also include native page dates from pages. So when you enable this feature, it will activate this section, the pages section. And here's where you select what pages you'd like to show in the calendar. So you could pick from the recently viewed pages, pages where you were mentioned. You can select specific pages. And finally, the most advanced option, you can do full filtering of pages to pull back, for example, all pages underneath a specific parent page or really anything you'd be using CQL here. But for our case, we'd just like to include one specific page, which is the campaigns page. And as you can see, the dates from our pages are now appearing directly in this calendar and we can hover over it and we can jump straight to that page that we are pulling those dates from. So it makes it really nice. You've got really extensibility as to which way you'd like to manage your dates in your conference pages. So it makes it nice and easy for you to manage multiple calendars at different levels, both globally and in a space. You can click to create the events, or you can include them from a page and you can mix and match that functionality as you'd like. So if anyone needs a calendar in Confluence and manage their team's schedule all within the same site, Capable Calendars is the product for you. So I hope that's been helpful. Give Capable Calendar a go today and see if it solves your business scheduling needs. And we're always looking for feedback and improvements so that we can really improve this product to meet your demands.